Alright guys, I am back with my review of the Ring of Honor TV show for September 7th, 2013. And the show starts off by telling us that it's going to be Tomasa Ciampa versus Silas Young, Michael Bennett versus BJ Whitmer, and Paul London versus Michael Elgin. So I'm thinking this is going to be a great show. But the first match is Ciampa versus Silas Young, and even though I'm a fan of both these guys, I thought it was kind of boring. I don't know, maybe it was just me here, but the match was okay, it just wasn't very exciting. So Ciampa wins with Project Ciampa. Um, then we get Michael Bennett versus BJ Whitmer. <clears throat> and this match has the infamous pile driver spot where BJ was injured and they had to stop the match. Um, so Bennett advances in the tournament. The pile driver looked sick as hell. BJ's head was way too low. Um, if you remember the Owen Hart, Steve Austin pile driver, how they kept showing the replay and you could see Austin's head like a little bit below Owen's legs and when he hit the tombstone, it just destroyed Austin's neck. Uh, BJ's head was all the way down under Whip, or uh, under Bennett's legs here. So the spot was just disgusting. And you can't really say... I'm sure some people will. They'll be like, I can't believe Ring of Honor showed that on TV. They're just trying to get ratings. And I can't believe they would do that and try to profit off of BJ's injury. I'm pretty sure BJ would want them to show it. So I didn't have an issue with that, but the match was actually all right. I kind of thought this match was better than the Ciampa Silas Young match, besides the obvious um, accident with the pile driver. And Maria tried to get involved, and Nigel carried her out, and um, Bennett, or not Bennett, I keep fucking up their names here. Whitmer did kick out of the TKO, which is Bennett's finisher, so he did look strong here. Um, and then the pile driver happened, so they had to stop the match, but. Uh, that was pretty much it so far, and I have to say I haven't really been enjoying this show. The The one match was just okay, and then the second match had like a, a huge accident here, so um, hopefully London versus Elgin delivers, and I'm sure it will. So Paul London comes out, and he's very enthusiastic. He's got a lot of energy. You can tell he's excited to be back in Ring of Honor. And the match was good. Michael Elgin wins after hitting a powerbomb off the top rope, then the buckle bomb, then the spinning powerbomb. So Elgin advances in the tournament. And I did like the match. I thought it was a good match. However, for Paul London's only match in the tournament, I kind of expected more. I mean, you don't know when you're going to see this guy again. And the match was good, but I didn't think it was great or anything. What I'd like to see is London and Kendrick versus Red Dragon or the American Wolves or something like that. Um, but if I had to pick just one team, I would like to see them against Red Dragon. So that was the end of the show. And I thought it was a decent show this week. I'd say it was average. Um, nothing too amazing on this week's show. But the tournament continues and next week Hopefully it's the Brian Kendrick versus Kevin Steen match because I've been waiting for that one. Um, but anyways, that's my review of this uh, episode of the Ring of Honor TV show. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on the show in the comments, and thanks for watching.